Hi, thank you uh, everyone for giving me this chance to be here and to share with you uh, a topic that really matters to me. Okay. So just a few more seconds. <laughs> Salvona is a Zulu greeting, which literally means, it means hello, but it actually means I see you, I sense you, I recognize your humanity, I affirm the humanity inside of you. I honor the dignity that exists inside of you. And Savona is based off of the idea that we are interconnected. We depend upon each other. Therefore, we are connected in ways that cannot be broken or separated. And to try to do so is a violation, uh, is, is a loss to our own humanity. And if we look into the underlying causes of the social problems that we have today, which are now being worsened by technology, we can actually realize that this is really due to a breakdown of uh, being able to recognize the humanity that exists in, in others. So this is a broken view of what humanity is. This is the neglecting of the social connections, the social cohesion that exists, and ignoring those relations and pursuing self-interest um, at the expense of what's good for society. And this leads to social breakage. This is when relationships within society break apart. And this ultimately leads to the violation of human rights, the failure to recognize the humanity of others. And now we're living in a society where we have technology facilitating social breakage. And if we look at some of the strongest critiques of artificial intelligence, um, they truly lie at the failure of technology to recognize the humanity of others. And so when we look at isolation, this is the failure to, to build technology with a community in mind, a failure to recognize the humanity of others. And we can also look into how we may, we may place biases into technology. And the embedding of biases and the universal application of biases uh, in technology without taking into account the structural inequalities that may exist, this is also a failure to recognize the humanity um, of, of others. And when we have content recommendation systems that are based off of the commodification of user data, um, systems that are based off of uh, surveillance and, uh, and uh, trying to maximize user uh, uh, company profits at the expense of others, this is also failure to organize the humanity of others. And alienation, right, being able to um, alienating users from the, uh, from the value of the product of, of their labor, this is also disregarding the humanity of others. And we see this as well with the centralization of data, which really amounts to the centralization of power. And when we have private entities that have amassed so much power, uh, or a few people that control so much power at the expense of society, this is also a risk to your own humanity. Now, when there's a loss of humanity, there must be a way to bridge the gap. There must be a way to reconcile this chasm that's been caused by the failure to recognize the humanity of others. And we have seen several examples that have happened in the, in the African continent. Uh, in 1994, Rwanda had a genocide where about 15% of the population was killed in a matter of a few months. This is a social breakage. This is a loss of the relations that exist in society. But the government took a process of national reconciliation. And we've seen the same process happening in Sierra Leone after the Civil War. Uh, after a decade of fighting, the government took a national process of truth and reconciliation to restore the wounds caused by a decade of fighting. And we've seen a similar situation as well in South Africa. After decades of white minority rule of uh, the indigenous Africans, um, the government took on a process of truth and national reconciliation. And the idea was that whenever there's a breakage in society, we're supposed to restore and restore the, the, the humanity of others. So ultimately, reconciliation and restoration rest on the ideas of equity, transformative justice, restorative justice. And the idea is that when something is broken, we must fix it. When equity is missing, we must restore it into our technology. And uh, as we lead with, with equity, we must seek meaningful engagement, meaningful inclusion, empower communities to shape the future of their technologies and what they desire out of um, the tools we build. So ultimately, safer AI really begins with truly seeing each other and truly recognizing the humanity of each other. Salvana.